happened so far. Ew, ew, is this a return? Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have five kitchen gadgets for you that they couldn't even sell at 50% off. Number one, fruit slicer for cantaloupes, melt, different kinds of melons. Now, how could they not sell this? Doesn't it look cool and easy? For picnics, summertime's coming. Spring, because somebody said, oh my gosh, she's talking about summer already. Listen, if I want to have summertime dreams, let me have summertime dreams. And I'm just saying that summertime's coming. We're in preparation for it. These on a normal day in other stores sells for $19.99. I bought this for $4.99. That's more than 50% off. You can use this on all kinds of melons, not just cantaloupe. You know how they have the baby watermelons? One little whack of this, it's all cut up. This is great for a picnic or taking the kids to the park. And that's why I'm shocked that they couldn't sell it. I guess $19.99 is a lot for this thing, huh? $9.99 would have been a good price for it, but I got it for five bucks. Really quick before we continue, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and it takes me to the top of YouTube. I got a steal, I think. If it works now, I do have like, like I said, my cantaloupe here, but I don't think it's ready for showtime. So if this fails, it might be the cantaloupe's fault. If it works, then I'm the genius. Okay, I believe that what you have to do is you have to cut both ends so that it's not doing this. Very dangerous if you're trying to cut something and it's wobbling around like this. So if you cut the end, you can sit it like this and then, oh, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. I've always wanted one, but I was not gonna pay regular price. So here we go. This is all you do. Cut the ends. And if you got a trick on how to tell that my cantaloupe is ready. Oh no, I think it's ready, huh? Let me know the tricks of the trade, cause I don't know. I just think you're supposed to go like this and then you're supposed to smell it. it doesn't smell like anything. Don't cut too much, now just the tip. <laughs> That's what she said. Look, it ain't moving, it ain't going nowhere. Then you get your thing, and I believe they make these in a giant size for big old watermelons. Oh, I bet that's fun. You know why that's fun? Because you can cut everything so fast. Less mess and quick turnaround. <laughs> for all the watermelon orders at the swimming pool. <gasps> Look at that, it's like 50 blades in one. All washed, and let me tell you something excellent quality with the little silicone handles. This like acrylic frame is great quality. And then the plates, look how sharp those are. I don't know why this didn't sell, but I'm kind of shocked that I got it for five bucks. So be on the lookout. Okay, what you're gonna do is center it. Now it would be smart if your table was a little lower so that you can put your body pressure on it. But we're in my studio, we gotta make it work. You guys ready? <laughs> I'm only doing this one, so pay attention. Don't look away. Go to the bathroom real quick, hurry up. Okay, we're back. Ready? One, two, three, go. I was gonna say, get my lover, because I can't. Oh, if you wiggle it, maybe. Let me put this knife away. Oh, that knife made me nervous. Okay. <gasps> you might have to turn your cutting board, just in case. Put some pressure on this side. Look at it. <gasps> Oh, was I supposed to scoop out the seeds? Is that why it's getting stuck? But no, just keep going, Vivian, just keep going. You almost got it. Oh, that's my workout for the day. Okay, now what? Just go around in a circle. Do you just peel it like this? Jiggle it. <gasps> it's a beautiful thing. Oh, they're all coming off now, look. I can't believe it. They're perfect. Just falling off of this thing, look. <laughs> that freaking worked. Genius invention. I don't know about $20. That is a bit much for a simple product like this, but but oh, does it work? A bit of a seed problem, but besides that. So I'm gonna give the melon slicer five Vivian heads. Number two garlic peeler. How fancy is this? Regular price, $14.99. That's a rip. Then they discounted it to $2.99 and they still couldn't sell it. So they gave me an additional 50% off of that. I got it for pennies on the dollar. I got some great deals on these kitchen gadgets and I have a feeling they're pretty decent. This one feels really nice, but my question is who's buying garlic like this? This is a lot of work. I wanna buy just the little garlic that's already cut up or they sell garlic in little baggies that's already peeled. This is so easy. So no wonder this is on sale because people are like, listen, we can buy peeled garlic in bulk at Sam's. Another cool feature, I think that you don't have to get your fingers to get all stinky. <gasps> Look at it, that's exactly what I thought it was. It's one of those like, have you seen those where it cuts the onion really fast for you? The slicer, you could put all kinds of stuff in here I think. What else can we cut up? Baby carrots, olives, a little piece of cheese, portion controlled, but do not only use it for garlic. And I think this comes out. <gasps> 
This is super cute. I'm not gonna pay that much for it though, but. Oh, don't tell me this comes with blades. It comes with different blades. And a brush? What? Excuse me? Look at this. You has entered. Why does this not have an infomercial? <laughs> I did a product just like this years ago for 20 bucks. And I paid 50 cents for this, this time. <laughs> Not 50 cents, but pennies on the dollar. Oh, you can interchange them. If you don't want little cubes, then you can make little slices of onions, of mozzarella. Oh, mozzarella. Baby little miniature french fries. I saw something like that on TikTok the other day. Oh, anything miniature, put it in here. Did you know that they sold miniature onions, little miniature potatoes? This is the miniature person's dream. So if you don't want it cubed, you can get them sliced. Then to clean it, because it's so little, you get a brush. <laughs> this is amazing. The quality is excellent too. This is not cheap plastic at all. And then you have a storage compartment at the bottom. And then you have this, and I bet you don't know what this is for. This is a little silicone sleeve that you can use to roll the peel and I'm just looking at the picture <laughs> roll the peel off your garlic so you don't have to peel it with your fingers and then you got stinky fingers it includes the stinky finger protector I don't know how to peel a damn garlic do you just do like that I think you just pop one little thing off like that. Now what? <laughs> Tell me. I'll read it in the comments. I'm not peeling garlic. Uh -uh, I'm buying the little baggie. And you just put it in there like this. Doop. Like a little envelope. And then roll. That's it. You're done. Ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> Told you. Look at this. Take it out. That's super easy. Look at the peel. I love garlic. That's not stinky to me. Oh, do I love garlic. Even though it's tiny, it's great for traveling, <laughs> your vacation. Now, what you do is you put your little garlic here. I'm gonna fall in love with this product. Why? Because it's small and I bet you money it works. I'm gonna try to hold my hand like that. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Garlic done. Let's see. Oh, those are the perfect garlic cubes. See what they look like in here? They're perfect. I love it. Okay, a little bit of it got stuck here at the top. Maybe that was the defect of the product. But for the most part, I'm loving it. We're gonna pop this off. Be careful. There it is, you see? It has a little tab on the side that you have to line up. Snap that into place. So far, I have no complaint. Besides the original, original, original price. Place your garlic right in the center. Ready? That was even easier than the cubes. I'm so impressed. The slices are beautiful and they didn't get stuck like the little cubes did. I like the slices better. So I'm gonna give our little garlic peel and chopper five Vivian heads. Five Vivian heads at $5.99 and below. Anything more than that, just buy the peeled one. <laughs> Number three mango splitter and this one regular price was 529 which at regular price i don't think this is crazy 529 i don't know maybe it is then it was discounted to 379 and then i got an additional 50 percent off that if you don't love mangoes oh my god you're missing out live a little try a mango is it called a seed or a bone that's the trivia question of the day because some people call it a bone i call it the seed i think it's strange when people call it a bone let's see what it officially says on here the pit it doesn't say either remove mango pit and slice it in half with one simple press look at the instructions with pictures and everything just like I like it this one it looks really cool it looks just like the melon cutter one it should be super easy to use now the only thing with this one is I don't think you need to cut the ends do you no made very well great plastic nice silicone tabs on the side I think my mango is hard is this still gonna work? Does it have to be a super soft mango? I hope not. I don't know how to ripen up a mango really, really fast. So I just bought that like one day ago. <laughs> I had to use it. So hopefully it still works. That's another test. This is where we wanna cut on this end. Stand the mango stem side down. Okay, let's get rid of this because you're making me nervous and I don't need it. It's not like the melon where you have to cut one slice so it doesn't wobble around, just like this. You see? Oh God, I hope this works. It's just hard. Okay, it should be easy though. Ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> oh, that's the best product of the whole video. I loved it, that was super easy and it is gorgeous. I just love how beautiful it looks. That took three seconds, if that.
Even at the 529, it's a great deal. Can we not use it on apples? No, it's a different thing. I bet we can use it on other stuff. Apples, I don't know about anything else. It could be peaches, no. Let me know if you've used this on other things, but for mango, it's everything. Because it was so easy and it's so nice. Look at this. <gasps> So I'm gonna give the Mango Slicer five Vivian heads, even at regular price. Number four, salad knife. This is silly, isn't it? Like this is an extra thing in the damn drawer that you're never gonna pull out because for what? I only got it because it was such a great deal. Regular price is $4.99, regular, regular. Then they brought it down to 99 cents. And then on top of the 99 cents, I got 50% off. Will I use it more than once? <laughs> I'm gonna try, but I'm not gonna make promises because I'm gonna forget. I have a regular knife or you buy a salad in a bag. You don't have to cut nothing. Maybe it does something magical. I don't know. This is good for the kids. Grandma, so she doesn't cut herself accidentally. Maybe they have hand problems and we gotta be careful that they don't hurt themselves. Besides that, Mm, look how they're trying to sell it to us. And it might be true. I'm not saying it's a lie. The plastic blade prevents lettuce from bruising or browning. It is ideal for slicing cake, brownies. Okay, maybe for cake. There you go. We got three uses out of it. Can I teach you a trick to take this end here off really, really fast? <laughs> Here's a trick I learned at the restaurant. You're going to hit it really hard. <laughs> not on this kind of day. <laughs> I'll bust up my table trying to show you how to do it. I'm gonna do it over here on the side where it's a sturdy countertop and not this flimsy ass table that I'm gonna have to replace now. I beat it all up. Now it's really gonna turn around. You're supposed to take these off anyway because they're probably gross. Look at this, when you slam it, all you need to do now is just pull it out. That was a life hack. But be careful, be gentle. We wanna eat healthy this year, so buy you a salad knife so you're inspired. Every time you see it, remember, I promised myself I would eat healthier. This should not be that hard. Oh, the kids are gonna love it. Hey, that's pretty impressive. Is it true about the browning and the plastic? Hey, it's working. It is cutting through here really nicely. <laughs> I've given you every scenario I can think of. If you can think of other things, but just for the regular folk at home, just use your knife. So I'm gonna give the salad knife three Vivian heads. Number five, microwave popcorn popper. It's a glass one. These are so cute. I was so surprised when I saw it, it was on clearance because Dash is a great brand and these are adorable so that you don't have to buy popcorn in a bag because I heard that has all kinds of chemicals and all the rumors and conspiracy theories behind that. Oh no, make them now in your own little glass thing at home. It says you can make all kinds of stuff with it. Look at this. You can make butter, you can make caramel, you can make chocolate, you can make cheddar all the things with this one little gadget. Regular, regular price on here it says $19.99 and I got it 50% off that price. Pretty good. If it works the way I think it's gonna work. I just don't know how it's gonna work with all the other ingredients. You just throw it in there and mix it around, maybe. All you need to do is add one third cup of popcorn microwave for two to three minutes. That's super fast and you're gonna have five and a half cups. That's a lot of fresh popcorn. No oil required, but it does have have like a little thing that you can put butter on top if you're a butter kind of girl like me. I was surprised when I saw this one because I thought, oh, that's, ew, ew. Is this a return? Because it has stuff on it. Oh, why don't y'all check? Oh, I'm not using it. Absolutely not. Because some son of a bitch. You'll be out of business soon if you don't check shit. Look at this. Look at Linda. <laughs> I'm gonna vomit. I'm a... <laughs> Have you seen that TikTok? Some rude ass person bought this, used this, and then after the movie was over, they packed it up, didn't even rinse it out for me, and took it back to the store. Popcorn, residue, kernels, and all. I'm disgusted. I'm not touching this. I'm taking it back to the store and letting them know who knows what kind of fungalitis is attached to this right now. <laughs> I can't. If you've tried it and you love it, let me know in the comments down below. It might be a good product, but right now I'm so grossed out. So I'm going to give the company who doesn't check the returns before they put them on the clearance section zero Vivian heads. And I'm not even going to give anything to this because it's not fair to the product. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.